हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल लेट एस स्टार्ट अ न्यू लेसन लेसन नंबर टू एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस लेसन इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट सिनेरियो इन आवर कंट्री ओके दिस इज अगेन अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो फॉर द इंटरव्यू मैनी टाइम्स इन द इंटरव्यू ऑफ यू पी एस सी ऑल्सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑन एम्प्लॉयमेंट बिकॉज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज ऑलवेज देयर इन द न्यूज देर आर लॉट ऑफ डिबेट्स हैपनिंग अराउंड इट सो दिस बिकम्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑल्सो ड्यूरिंग द इंटरव्यू एंड ऑल्सो फॉर द मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट एस बिगिन फर्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट जॉब क्रिएशन ओके जॉब क्रिएशन इन द इकोनॉमी वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ जॉब क्रिएशन वॉट इज इट्स डेफिनेशन वॉट इज इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस देन वॉट आर द डिफरेंट ड्राइवर्स ऑफ जॉब क्रिएशन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली एम्प्लॉयमेंट मीन्स दैट पीपल गेटिंग जॉब्स ओके पीपल गेटिंग सम वर्क टू डू सो दैट दे कैन अर्न अ लाइवलीहुड एंड दे कैन have a good life that is the ultimate motive so what is the meaning of job creation job creation is basically generation of new employment opportunities especially for the unemployed people okay so people who are unemployed who are looking for employment who are willing to work uh, at the prevailing wage rate or the prevailing salaries that are there in the market but still they are not able to get the job then generating jobs for such people is known as job creation so it is a very very important activity you see what it does is what is the importance of job creation it supports economic growth naturally if people will have jobs they will get incomes they will spend in the market that is how your uh, economic growth will happen because demand in the economy will increase more production will happen in the economy and economic growth will be supported it reduces poverty and income inequality also that is very very obvious if people are getting jobs then their poverty will reduce income inequality will also reduce because now the income levels will rise in a family if people are getting jobs in that family right it drives consumption demand as i told you once people get income they will start consuming things and it will increase consumption demand in the economy so this is the importance of job creation for an economy it is very very rudimentary very very basic thing everybody should understand this now let us look at what are the drivers of job creation what drives job creation how job creation happens what are the factors responsible so the first factor is economic growth okay so here we saw that it supports economic growth so job creation leads to economic growth and this relationship is also the other way around economic growth will also lead to job creation another job creation so there is a cycle okay it's a it's a cycle economic cycle that goes on and that is how it multiplies it increases so economic growth naturally becomes a driver of job creation how i have explained that mechanism here if the gdp is growing that is if the economy is growing that means the business is expanding business expansion is happening meaning that more investment will happen in infrastructure and other thing if businesses are expanding then there will obviously be more demand for infrastructure if there is more demand for infrastructure meaning there will be increased demand for the labor and more work will be available this is one example post 1991 reforms in india it led to rapid job creation because uh, 1991 reforms led to uh, you know increase in economic activity in our country it led to increase in manufacturing service sector different sectors and that was the reason one of the big reasons why jobs were created rapidly after 1991 reforms now what is the second most important uh, you know uh, drivers of job growth is government policies obviously the government policies should um, always support job creation it should be favorable for job creation what are the different policies fiscal policies tax incentives industrial policies stimulate job creation this is again obvious example is india's production link incentive okay production link incentive scheme pli scheme 
it has an aim to boost manufacturing jobs because here the government of india incentivizes more production in india okay and another example is manrega for rural jobs so manrega incentivizes rural jobs so government policies obviously help uh, you know uh, creating more jobs in the economy now the third one is innovation and technological advancement now new industries like artificial intelligence clean energy and it services can generate jobs but there is a caveat here automation may lead to replacement of jobs leading to a shift in the required skill so for maybe a short term uh, you know there may be reduction in jobs if we are moving towards technological upgradation and automation however with time people can acquire those new skills okay the new skills people can take they can educate themselves and then they can find jobs in those advanced sectors also but it takes time and during such period whenever uh, automation takes place or there is a shift in the economic activity there is a shift in the technology whatever unemployment happens that unemployment is known as structural unemployment because structural of the economy has changed so that short term unemployment is basically structural unemployment this we are going to see later again now what is the next driver of economic growth uh, of job creation is msmes and startups we have repeatedly discussed this how msmes lead to more job creation so more msmes more startups they will lead to more jobs naturally msmes contribute significantly to job creation especially in rural and semi urban areas example is the role of indian startups in creating jobs in fintech e-commerce and logistic sector next driver is infrastructure development investment in physical and digital infrastructure like roads railways 5g creates construction and service jobs again very very uh, obvious thing it also supports other sectors by providing infrastructure support needed to expand their businesses right because infrastructure will also support other industry other msmes that will again generate more jobs so in economy friends uh, just um, you know keep in mind that there is always a cycle okay economy is always a cycle so one thing will affect the other the first thing will affect the second second might affect the third third might again affect the first and then in turn it will again affect the second and third so the cycle will go on okay then uh, this is what is also known as the multiplier effect so that is how the effect multiplies the the ripple effect goes on so uh, uh, in economy anything that happens will affect the other thing and then that other thing might in turn affect the first thing so that always happens now there are many challenges to job creation what are these challenges let us look at that the first challenge is skill mismatch okay india's youth lack skills that match the demands of the modern economy so we need to train our youth our young people our educated people with the modern day skills what is required in the economy what is the demand from the industry and addressing these gaps through initiatives like skill india mission this is already we are having government of india is having a program called skill india mission and pradhan mantri uh, kaushal vikas yojana also whereby skills are given to the um, uh, people individuals uh, which can match the um, demands of the economy so there is a skill mismatch that is one challenge and we have taken some uh, step also towards it the next one is slow economic growth in labor intensive industries so an industry may be labor intensive or capital intensive if it is labor intensive meaning it is more dependent on labors on human labor sectors like textile leather agriculture have seen slow growth leading to limited job creation and you know one of the reason is also delayed reforms in msmes so msmes also tend to be um, you know uh, labor intensive and since there have been very late reforms in msmes till now we have not seen much of a job creation in this sectors so slow growth in labor intensive sectors is another reason why india is seeing uh, uh, you know problems with job creation and we are having more expansion more growth in capital intensive industries okay which are high tech high automation 
high technology where machineries will do most of the job and there therefore we will have economic growth there will be production in the economy but with the help of machines not with the help of human labor so that is a kind of a jobless growth okay it is a kind of jobless growth which we might see if there is a capital intensive industry expansion and not labor intensive so this is again a challenge then the next one is globalization and automation so again we have discussed this that outsourcing and technological disruptions have impacted certain sectors like manufacturing and services because of technological upgradation automation a lot of things are outsourced also to another countries or to other uh, other area of the uh, world this increases efficiency but reduces opportunities for low and semi skilled workers so this is again an important challenge next one is informal sector dominance in india still there is a dominance of informal sector more than 90% of the people are employed in informal sector over 90% workforce employed in informal sector which who have lower wages there is a job insecurity also then there are constraints on the long term job growth so informal sector dominance is again another challenge before us when it comes to permanent job creation for the people good paying job creation secured job creation for our economy then rigid labor laws this is a complaint by industries always that our labor laws are very rigid often restrictive making it difficult for companies to hire and fire employees based on the demand fluctuation since there is no flexibility with the industries with the entrepreneurs therefore they are always reluctant to hire new people because they think that they it will be difficult to lay them off in case there is a downfall in their business or if there is a recession it discourages business from expanding their workforce also because the labor laws when we look at it in detail later you will see that there is a clause in labor law that if you employ a more than certain number of laborers then you will be having more stringent labor laws okay the the parameters will be more stringent for you therefore the industries don't want to expand in that case so that is again a challenge next one let us come is the global economic uncertainty obviously the global economic uncertainty uncertainty will naturally affect uh, job creation in india because as you know that we are somewhere a part of the global supply chains global value chains so if there is problem in the global economy then india will also suffer and there will be problem with job creation in our country also so when we see trade wars global recessions covid 19 pandemic like situation which disturb the global value chains gvc all have disrupted the global demand impacting sectors like exports tourism manufacturing which are crucial for job creation so these are the global factors which affect job creation in our country also right so uh, we have to look from this different point of view now addressing this challenges requires structural reforms in the economy okay we need a lot of structural reforms structural reforms meaning we need to train our people we need to incentivize industries to hire more people to change our laws to have a better fiscal policy better monetary policy so that there will be more investment there will be more uh, industrialization manufacturing sector will be uh, more incentivized encouraged and more jobs will be created so we need to have structural reforms investment in skill development we need to skill our people more labor law flexibility should be there and boosting sectors that have the potential for mass job creation like manufacturing infrastructure and services so our policies should focus on impacting these sector majorly because these are labor intensive sectors okay and we have we need to have policies which will uh, encourage labor intensive industries more rather than capital intensive so uh, so that our people will get jobs and our people will be skilled enough to take up jobs in high tech industries also right so uh, with this we will end this video and we'll continue about employment in the next video also thank you